We're so happy to have her here in no small spark because they predicted showers later today. And if it's gonna rain, it may as well be raining, men. So please welcome the sensational Martha Wash. It is my pleasure to be here to see all of your lovely faces. I'm going to sing this song and I want you to do, well, I want you to walk. That's it. Walk. That's what the song is about. When you are through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark at the end of the storm there's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a Lord walk on through the wind walk on today goes to fund the crucial work of GMHC. Please join me in welcoming the organization's dynamic and compassionate Chief Executive Officer. She is one of America's leading voices on matters of public health, human rights, and HIV AIDS, Dr. Marjorie Hill. Oh, you are phenomenal. You're all phenomenal. So, the CBS crew started out by asking what is community? And I want to ask that, what makes a community? You make the community. It's your being here in the rain, made or shine. Uh, many of you for, this is not your first time with us, so I just really want to thank you for supporting AIDS Walk New York, for supporting GMHC, and being a partner in the fight against HIV and AIDS. GMHC began in the community. It was started by the community, in the community, and throughout 31 years, we have continued to provide life-sustaining services to men and women and families living with and affected by HIV. Some of it is about care, some of it's about uh, supportive services, but a lot of it is about prevention. There is no reason why we don't do more, know more, talk more about HIV, 
except for stigma. The stigma and the shame that keeps people from knowing their status, keeps people from going to the doctor, keeps people from even coming out today. And so your being here, your pride, your commitment to the fight is critical even more so today. I've talked all through this campaign about the sequester. You all have heard it. I'm just going to say that while the government can give us 5% less, 9% less, we're not serving 9% less meals. We're not going to give 9% less HIV tests. We're not going to go to 9% cases and defend people in housing court. We're not going to make sure that there's 9% people, less people, applying for their GED or getting mental health counseling. But you know why we can say that? We can say that because of all of you there and all of the people here who have my back. So we ask you to do so much, but I'm just going to ask you to do one more thing today. First of all, anyone either in the audience, on television, and who can hear my voice, if you don't know your status, get an HIV test, know your status. And if you want to do it in the park, GMHC is providing free HIV testing in the park today. Know your status. And the second thing is we want you to hug a person living with HIV. Now you might say, well, why is that important? There is still stigma. There is still oppression. There are still family members and co-workers who are turning their backs on people living with HIV. Well, I am really proud to do that myself today. Please join me in welcoming a GMHC client, a great woman, and someone who is going to tell you a little bit about her journey, Stephanie Valerie. <laughs> My name is Stephanie Valerie, and I am honored to be here. May tends to be a difficult month for me. Mother's Day reminds me of my mother and my daughter, both of whom I've lost. And on May 1st, 1997, I found out I was HIV positive. When I heard the news about my HIV status, I was devastated. I wanted to die. Thankfully, I called a friend, and she told me about GMHC. The staff gave me some wonderful information. At that point, I knew that I needed to tell my mother and my son that I was HIV positive. And my mother said to my son, listen to me from now on. You don't have to listen to your mother anymore because she will be dead soon. My self-esteem plummeted. I was so desperate to be loved, I made some unfortunate and unhealthy decisions. In 2011, I returned to GMHC and became a client. GMHC became my home. I started going to support groups. I joined the Action Center where I have learned about public policy issues affecting people living with HIV and AIDS. Now I go to meetings and share my stories with elected officials and their staff. And with the support of GMHC and a 12-step program, I have been clean for 14 years. <laughs> Last year, I became homeless. GMHC helped me find supportive group housing. Now, I am in my own apartment, and it is a wonderful feeling to put the key in my own door. My life has changed dramatically. Today is not a sad day for me. It is a, a, it is a coming out day for me. By speaking to you, I am doing something that I never thought would ever be possible. I am walking with my head up, held high. And I want you to know that my son Shad is here. He flew in from Chicago to be with me on this incredible day. about my HIV status.
but now he is my biggest supporter. We will be walking together. As you walk today, please know that I am so grateful for your help. I love DMHC. Thank you very much.